Dean Simon, thanks very much indeed for joining us. It's, uh, you know, we've got this situation in place mm -hmm. uh, that in other uh, parts of the world we do have bans on short selling. Mm -hmm. Why is it you think that Hong Kong needs it in particular? Well, if you look at the most of the other country, you know, the U.S., the London, most of the European country, and even though the South Korea, they already have this kind of the stop uh, selling uh, ban a policy in place, and they are enforcing it right now. And how come the Hong Kong is left behind? How come Hong Kong do not have its own, you know, a short selling ban policy in place? I will exceed that. I mean, Hong Kong, the Hong, Hang Seng has performed worse than many of the other markets That's out correct. there, but. You know, we don't really have a, we, a, a move, uh, a move hasn't stopped on the way down when it comes to the FTSE in some of the European markets. Well, uh, I hope the people understanding that the uh, uh, short selling spend is not uh, keep the market from falling, but it is a, a very good tool to avoid the market going to the extreme and at least have some grace period to have the, uh, let the pub general uh, public to understand or cool down and making the market back to the normal shape. Right. Is that what you're blaming the fall, generally the fall on here? But let me put it this way. Do you want to ban short selling per se, or would you like to ban naked short selling when the person who's selling the stock has no intention of ever buying it, or should I say, having never had any contact with it even? That's correct. We really want to ban the naked short selling. Not short selling itself, just That's naked. Correct. That's right. correct. Okay. How would you do that? Well, we want the government to implement some kind of the policy uh, to ban those that make the short selling, and especially uh, those kind of the uh, institutional investors do not own those stock in place. Uh, this kind of thing is very controversial, we understand. It just seems like a kind of the insurance policy. If you have uh, you know, 20 containers goods to ship to the U.S., you buy the insurance to cover it, it is normal. But if you have nothing uh, good to ship in the uh, U.S., you bet a billion dollars to bet it is not safe to arrive. This is not a normal situation. Right, but it's also got implications for people who have got their retirement funds, haven't they, here? That's correct, um, especially like in Hong Kong. And we have the MPF uh, fund, and most of the people, they do not understand that the portfolio they own actually can be lended to some people to short our market. Right. This is not a very good So there's not transparency either, is what you're saying here? That's correct. Okay, well, you know, let's see how this all plays out. But, uh, you know, otherwise we could be seeing here, from uh, another perspective, uh, Sausage Jin Ha is saying that we could be headed for one of the biggest short squeezes. That's correct. With the Hang Seng. Do you agree with that? Yes, I'm very agree with it, because the market is totally depends on the competency of the, all the people. And when the people is, you know, seeing the market punching in a lot, and if this not, the government's not doing anything, that may, may be going uh, into another uh, turmoil.